happy Thanksgiving and welcome to the new the new holiday uh, time. I, I hope everybody's had a great Thanksgiving and had a, a good, I called it, when I was talking to my kids, I, I said, um, gobble, gobble day, and they, they thought that was cute. So we had a good Thanksgiving. Um, last time that we met, I wanted to share with you a 10-minute routine that's going to be pretty intense, all on burning calories and increasing metabolism. So for those who are ready, get your solar sizers out because we're going to do that. Well, we're going to answer some questions first and share some customer reviews. If you have any questions, please feel free to share them with us. Brooklyn's here and she's, she's going to uh, make sure that I can address some of those. Um, Speaking on the holidays, I want everybody to have a great experience. And I've shared this in the past. Many times we go out and we eat a great big meal and then we go and we sit down and all the blood rushes down to the lower abdominal area and people get heart attacks. Heart attacks are very prevalent. In fact, they're, they're greatest among the holiday season. It's always good if you're gonna eat a big meal to take a walk or if it's not convenient, go outside, get on the solar sizer and just gently, gently move up and down, do some twisting and rocking side to side, get those digestive fluids working and, and on the, so you have better digestion and better processes. So that's important. Uh, let's go ahead and answer I'll read a couple customer reviews. Some of these I've read before, but they're really worth reading again. And Brooklyn, if you see any online, be sure to let me know what questions there are. It says, Dear Dave, thank you so much for your thoughtful note. I hope you got my thank you card. It says, I know the phrase changed my life is overused. And because of that can come off as hackneyed. But because of your product and program, my life has changed dramatically for the better. Please know again of my sincere gratitude. I played basketball in high school with hopes of being a walk-on when I went to college. However, during a summer league game, I came down with a rebound and heard a snap on my lower back. And by the time I got home, the pain shot down my leg and I was in tears because the pain was so bad. But in the next three months, I was in traction because of a slipped disc in my spinal cord. I recovered, but I soon realized that my lower back issues would stay with me for the rest of my life. Fortunately, I discovered that weightlifting was a great therapy as long as I consistently lifted, which I have for the past 40 years. It kept my muscles strong so as I didn't experience any more back pain. To my dismay, I couldn't run without it hurting my lower back, so I turned to bicycling. I've biked to work for the past 29 years. The stationary bike works well too. About a year ago, I started to give cellar size a try. I loved it. For the first time since my injury 42 years ago, I was able to run and jump and try the exercises you do on your training video without pain. But what I like even more than the physical benefits was what it did to my brain and emotions. For the past 10 years or so, I've dealt with severe sleep apnea and insomnia issues. Because of the lack of oxygen, this has made clear thinking, being able to focus, concentrate, and be sharp, an enormous challenge. The fatigue has also contributed to depression. Fortunately, I finally acclimated after many years to a CPAP machine, which helped a lot, but it wasn't enough. I was still experiencing way too much brain fog to be productive like I wanted to be. But the cellar sizer changed all that. For some reason, which I'm sure you can explain, the cellar sizer jump, start, jump starts my brain. Regardless of the mood or physical state I'm in, when I use the cellar sizer, my brain comes alive again with accompanying positive emotions. So yes, the cellar sizer has changed my life in a big way, for which I am truly grateful to you and what you are doing to make the world a better place. That is interesting that you majored in vocal performance in college. The person on the phone who took my order also told me that your children have attended BYU. Since I'm such an exercise enthusiast, 
I have talked to our vocal faculty many times about the connection between fitness and singing, as you put it, vocal quality and support. To be honest, they have been polite to me in their responses, but everyone has dismissed the idea of what you mentioned below. They cite research. I'm the assistant director here, and my job is to oversee the financial and operational side of things. I'm not a musician, so I have little credibility when it comes to artistic and musical decisions and suggestions. To me, your suggestion below makes all the sense in the world that it would help vocalists, but I don't think I would have much pull in persuading our vocal faculty. Maybe if you had a special video that was targeted to musicians that I could share the link for them to consider. Sorry for the long email, but I truly am grateful for your product and program. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that with appreciation, Brett. And Brett, thank you for sharing that. And I wanted to discuss what he's talking a little bit about because, and many of you have seen what the power of breathing does to get to the other one third of the lung that most people don't get enough oxygen to, number one, how it helps open up the bronchial tubes and how it also helps open up the larynx. Now for vocal performance majors or singers, performers, radio announcers, television broadcasters, it's important to have good vocal quality. So before an event or even before competitions, I've had students who were singers who would do the solar size before they would go out on stage and perform and they notice the difference. And it's, and you can hear the difference in me when I get on this solar sizer and I just do this, it's wonderful. We're gonna do a little bit of it today in our, our 10 minute routine too, but it oxygenates the body, it pumps the lymph system. There's a myriad of health benefits from it, but we start off easy because the bronchial tubes and lungs is a workout. And most people are, if you're not doing a lot of intense exercise, you may feel that, but it goes. <laughs> now when I'm done, <clears throat> when I'm done, you can hear it, it cleared the voice. I, it's fun when I can work with, with singers and performers on that because it literally, it literally changes the voice quality. So, all right. I did a test when I bought your trampoline. I did two weeks each day. I did a solid 20 minute workout routine. Lost inches, every muscle lifted and tightened facial buttocks and even tightened and flattened my stomach. Improved my circulation and my breathing got better and my stretching. So many benefits to my body and health. Thank you for looking out for your dad. If you hadn't, so many of us today wouldn't have benefited from your success. You see, since then my husband and I have had have been in major vehicle accidents and we've had multiple surgeries, including spinal surgery. I'm looking to using the solar size because I truly need the help. And thank you for sharing that. One last one today. Martha writes, exactly. I had ACL meniscus repair surgery in 2017. After surgery, my old trampoline caused a lot of pain in my knee. I got rid of it and invested in my solar sizer. I'm pain-free. My knee and whole body, for that matter, is stronger. My knee is pain-free when I'm on this exerciser. I was recently asked to jump on a regular rebounder. It was terrible. It was instantly painful on my knee. Confirmed for me that my exerciser is definitely superior. I'm not saying that <clears throat> to try to sell the exerciser, although you know we put our, our heart into it and it and it's a fantastic piece of equipment, and I expect to use it for the rest of my life. But we want people to have a good experience. There are many rebounders on the market today, and a lot of them aren't, they're not the same quality or built with the same intent. Jumping up and down can be fun, but we want to create resistance and move fluid and circulation. So we have to have resistance and that's what the solar sizer offers, but it also avoids the jarring effect. It's not too soft so that you don't get stronger muscles and, and bones, but it's, it's, it's um, also going to move up and down many times per minute to open up the circulatory systems and to open up the lymphatic system and to give you support so you can alter the angle of your body in different positions to create leverage and that's how we can work all these very different muscles. And so the questions that we had disappeared. Where are they? 
There we are. Okay. My husband is 6'1", has long arms. Will the bar get in his way? No. Well, it depends on what bar you have. If you have the longer bar for the half fold, um, it's not that it's in the way. It's just taking up more room. You can still learn how to do it without it getting in the way. Or you can get a conversion kit, which is just the top piece, and you can turn the wider bar into a more narrow bar. And that, you don't have to get a whole new bar. We've got that on our, our website and our store. Does it have, to, oh, and on the knees, I want to talk about the knees a little bit. We did just a moment ago, but the lady whose knees are helping her, or, or in good condition now. When you're on the cellar sizer and you're doing the twist, you don't want to be wearing shoes. Socks or bare feet allow the body to move so you don't grab the mat and torque. You don't want to torque the knee. So again, socks, bare feet, great way to get the benefit without and build up the knee without hurting the knee. Does it have the same effect if you're just doing the baby bounce? Feet not all the way off the mat. Well, it depends how you're doing it. I mean, there, there's a benefit irrespective. But as far as the same benefit, it was a little different. When you jump a little bit higher, you put a little bit more weight on the body. And it's um, going to move fluid uh, a little bit more. But that being said, if you did nothing more than the baby bounce or the health bounce, that's the most important physical activity we can do every day of our life anyway. Because that literally is what's opening up circulation, helping to reduce inflammation and in improving uh, body functions and Balance, equilibrium, etc. says, has anyone traveled with their trifold and placed it in the overhead luggage? Any issues? I travel with it all the time. I put it in the overhead luggage bin with the handle right here facing toward me. So it's built just to be long enough that it, that it works in most overhead luggage bins. Now there's some of the smaller planes where you can check it in at the bulkhead. But it, uh, yeah, I travel all around the world with it. Can the cellar sizer help with neurological pain? Dep yes, um, but it depends on where it is and what you do. So I don't, I can't say for you specifically that it is going to help or not help. Um, but you're welcome to give me a call and I can share with you some suggestions that you can share with your doctor or health practitioner. For everyone who started on their bouncing journey, did you start out slow and build up to 10 minutes a day? Like, did you do two minutes a day or a few times a day for a while? How long? Then move up? Or did you go straight to the 10 minute routine? Thanks. I didn't even know about a 10 minute routine when I first began. I just had a certain amount of time and I goofed around on it the first month. So I would just do a little bit of the um, folks as the you know, I had a gut and I wanted to work on the stomach and, and, um, and then I worked on the waist and the hip. That was the hardest and then the lower back and the buttocks doing different movements on the solar sizer. And I didn't realize until about a month later that this really worked and that it had done so much to me. And then six months later, everybody was asking me what it was I would do, what I was doing because it changed my whole physique and they wanted to know about it too. So that's what ended up happening. And the solar sizer just, I just gradually grew into it. Now, we have, if you go to solarsize.com forward slash user guide, the second to the last page of that user guide, you can download it, it's free. We'll give a recommendation how to begin the first, second, third, and fourth week. For those doing 10 minutes a day, is there a great 10 minute routine that you follow that incorporates all the muscles of the body or do you change it up every day or week? No, my routine didn't change for 30 years. Um, I did pretty much the same thing. It's all body. The whole cellar size doesn't matter what routine you do, really. Other than tonight, we're going to be doing aerobics, specifically for weight and calorie um, burning, weight loss. But typically, on a cellar size, you can focus or leverage your weight to certain areas that you might want to work on more intensely, but the whole body is always working. It's not like typical calisthenics where you do all these individual movements that, uh, target all these different muscle groups. When you cellar size and you alter the angle of the body, create leverage, the whole body is still involved with a G-force or weight. That's what makes it so efficient. Um, any questions, Brooklyn? Yeah. Um, 
I'm waiting on a new hip. For now, I'm not able to use my cellar sizer, but is there a good therapy course for after? Yeah, yeah, talk to your doctor or therapist. But starting off gently moving up and down is a great one because it massages the tissue. And as we massage the tissue, we help increase circulation, which can help reduce the scar tissue, but also can help um, increase flexibility and strength. So that gentle movement up and down is like a gentle massage at the cellular level, not just the muscular level. As we become more flexible, then we can spread the feet apart a little bit, bend at the knee slightly, and just simply rock side to side very gently. But now you're working all the muscles in the hip. And we've helped a lot of people avoid hip surgeries just doing this movement right here. They start off like this, and then they end up like this. And that gets stronger. Then we can take the heels, lift them up and down, and do a gentle twist. And then, Keeping our way straight ahead, we can work in the hip socket area. And all of these movements are helping to strengthen all the supporting muscles and ligaments around the hip and increase flexibility at the same time. Any other questions? Um, is there a way I can position my hand while jumping to help with thumb arthritis? Uh, just the moving up and down. The lymphatic system, and you've heard me talk about it, holds a negative pressure, so movement causes suction. In a few minutes of movement up and down, you create a vacuum system. You prime the body. All these millions of one-way valves are sucking. And so when you, after a few minutes of movement, and you get that fluid, that circuit moving, then you can move the thumbs and move your hands and just kind of literally things like this. Sometimes it gets worse before it gets better. It's like cleaning up a bedroom. Um, but you start to challenge it and you want to move the joints. See, we get little trapped blood protein or uh, white blood cells that get in between the joint and start to eat up metabolic garbage and waste. They grow, they can't get out, they explode. Some more white blood cells get in there, they start to eat up the metabolic garbage and waste between the joint. They get too big to get out and they can explode and you get this compound soreness. And so it's so important we increase circulation and movement. So we help to retrain and and, and improve that circulation again in the body. And things like this, you're moving up and down, you're moving fluid, creating pressure changes, and you're just assisting the, uh, the joints as well. When I was in high school, um, my sophomore year, I, I was hit by a drunk driver. I was um, on a, it was a 10 speed bicycle and it had the curved pieces underneath. I had my arm here, or my hands here, and I was, I was riding. He, I thought it was a joke. He ran right off the road. I kept trying to get away from him. He kept following me, ran right into me, and bent my handlebars directly in. Just totally smashed this thumb. And it's a, it's a little bigger than the other one, if you can see here. But I never have problems with it. I'm so grateful. Um, and, and I know that cellar sizer has helped, I believe, to keep my, <laughs> my joints pain-free and circulating well. Any other questions, real quick? What is the difference with the sitting to standing movements? Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> that's talking about the Mr. Rebounder app. We have a movement where it's stand to sit. It's just preparing the body. So when you're on the cellar sizer and you're going to do a sit and bounce, you have a moment of time that you can, it can direct you or tell you, okay, it's time to sit down. So you have a stand to sit, and then you bounce up and down. You do these different movements and work on the lower abdominals. And, and then when you're done, you sit to stand, and then you can get to the next movement. So it just gives you a little bit of time in between movements. That's what it's for. I want to point out one more thing. Um, we are in the holiday seasons. Regretfully, our prices are, because of conditions are going to have to go up. If you know anybody who is interested in this cellar sizer, give them a call. Let them know. Write them. The price right now, tonight, it ends today. Um, we, this is the lowest price we've been able to do in years. And we want to encourage everybody to take advantage of it if you can. Um, we'll do it through tonight, and then tomorrow we're going to have to adjust our pricing again. But I want to thank you all for sharing and for everything you've done to help the people that you care about. I love Solar Side. You know that. It's been, it's, 
I've said it many times, it's the closest thing to the fountain of youth yet devised by man. I've heard that from other people, and I I believe it's true. So, oh, I want to address one more thing real quick, too. The balance bar, I still have people say, well, this is not built very well. The bar is really loose. Actually, it's built very well, which is why the bar is loose. And I wanted, I wanted you to understand a little bit about it. I've talked about it briefly before, but it's real important people understand. We've got dynamic balance and we have static balance. And static balance is great. We're dependent upon something else to hold us up. We're not really moving much. Dynamic balance is what we're using all of our different muscles. It's what gives us our coordination skills. It's the underlying muscles closer to the bone. And most people don't really get enough exercise that addresses those muscles. And so over time, as the muscles get weaker, they have a harder time with, with, with movement. And we don't want to have that. Just standing here, being able to tie a shoe and have that kind of balance, you know, that's, that's kind of neat. But that's dynamic balance. If we had a bar that was rigid, that's static balance. We become dependent upon the bar for a balance. We're not really challenging all of these other muscles in our body. So we have the bar, it, you pull it toward you, it's more static. That's great, now you're dependent upon it. But as your balance naturally starts to get better, you will find yourself putting less and less emphasis on the bar. It's still there to help you, but it's your dynamic balance has gotten better. And you will take that with you in everything that you do, all of your activities. So, and it has little or nothing to do with age. We can get that at virtually any age. Any other questions, Annie? Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to do the fat eradicator too. It's intense. I don't. If you're not in really best condition or shape, do not try to follow along with this. Um, go easy. You can do the jumbo walk gently. Um, you can just gently bounce up and down when you need to catch your breath. Nothing wrong with that, by the way. As you are gently bouncing up and down, you're helping to feed more oxygen and, and blood flow back to the, the thighs and the buttocks. These are the big muscles, and we're going to be using those because they they have a great demand for fuel. So um, get ready. I'm going to leave this here. We've got the way that this is set up. I can't let you see the large screen. So I'm going to have this on the small screen. You can watch that while I watch the large screen. And just go ahead and follow along. Um, and again, just go at your pace. And I want you to have a good experience. Well, we're ready to begin. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, see that little orange button right here? For those of you who have the, uh, the monitor, go ahead and, the standalone monitor, you can go ahead and pr push that on, because that'll, that'll give you a readout. It'll count the number of um, bounces, the number of calories you're burning. It'll have an intensity meter right there, and so you can see how many calories you burn at the end of your program, we have that on our website. And then for those who have the wireless module, um, and I've got that because I was charging it. Um, right here. Here's our wireless module. And that interfaces with our app you just stick that underneath the mat. And there's a little button, which I don't have to hit because it was already on. Turn it back on. And then you go to the beginning. Go to home. You're going to go to settings. Connect Bluetooth device. Okay. It's now connected. So now I'm going to go back to the routine, and this is under my workouts. We're going to put this on the Mr. Rebounder app, though, so everybody will have access to it. But for those who want to just do it with me tonight, we'll be able to do that. And then we're going to hit start again. And we'll start counting. So this is a 
12 minutes, 10 minutes of working and just a couple minutes of warm up. But we're gonna do a lot of jamba running. We're gonna do some spreading. We're gonna do some ski patrol. All of it, pretty much using the big muscle of the body. Okay, prime the body. up the joints a little bit here, getting the thighs circulating. Jamba run one minute, and you can do the jamba walk if you want. And if you think it's too easy, sit down further, or lift the feet up a little higher. You get to determine the intensity. And as you get better at it, your intensity can go up. Yeah, I'm doing it where my feet really aren't even coming off the mat. If I were to lift them up off the mat a little bit more, that would be more intense. But because the whole routine is intense, I'm just going to do it like this. And you should be feeling it. And if you're not, you need to keep your back straight, don't lean forward. Keep your back straight. Three, two, one. Okay, so now we're going to jolly. They can't hear you over the music. You look too loud? Yeah. Okay, keep going. All right. That should be better. So we're doing a lot of pumping right now and working the core too. Jamba run. Now oh, we've burned 30 calories already. This is intense. This is a, we have a patent pending on this module. It's not just a counter like you can get on other units. It actually measures deflection, which has got a built-in oscillator. And through an algorithm, it can measure intensity to determine the number of calories that are being burned. So it's uh, not just one of those counters. And when you want to increase the intensity, increase the intensity, you know how you can feel yourself doing that. And you want to loosen the intensity here. Just go a little easier. All right. Ski control.
Tell him to run. I know the holidays, we're halfway down by the way. I know the holiday seasons can be a hectic time. So we'll probably do just one more session between now and Christmas. But if you have anything specific, you want to work on, again, go ahead and put it down so that Christine, who's on the other side, um, or Brooklyn can write these things down so we can work on. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. Jump or run. One minute. You're using big muscles, so the body has no choice. It needs to burn fuel. And this movement here, the jump run, it burns. I mean, it generates a lot of heat. Intense. Like I said, if you want to do more intense, just kick those feet up a little bit. Jogging, 30 seconds. Breathing. Ski patrol. Just 20 seconds. Jump or run. One minute, <laughs> 50 seconds ago. seconds to go. Ten. Five. In that short period of time, we still burned. It's going to be close to 150 calories.
And for those of you who really want or are highly motivated, you can do that routine again, hip rock. Okay, we're cooling down now. And if you made it through it, great. Like I said, you can determine the intensity by how you do the move. That's one of the things I like about the cellar sizer is all age groups can use it because you literally can take wherever you are now and work toward a goal or a fitness objective at almost any level. So we all begin, and this is again the most important work. By lifting the heels up a little bit, we're pumping the calf muscle, we're getting more oxygen and blood flow to the thighs. So your metabolism has now been increased. Even though you stop self-exercising, it's going to take time for that metabolism to come down, which means you'll continue to burn fuel. If you do this short routine several times a day, you're going to have a higher operating metabolism, which can help us toward our fitness goals and objectives. So, thank you. Thanks for for being a part. Thank you again for sharing. Call me if I can be of any help. Share it with others. And as you have, and I get the phone calls every day from people who are experiencing the results. So thank you. Thanks for being part of the Solar Size family. Have a wonderful holiday season. Stay safe, stay healthy. And as I have to say, remember, you don't have to work out when you can play in. Thank you.